the education in, in the nature of mind, which is, is what we're speaking about here, is just really completely simple. Um, so simple, I was just totally shocked. And, and uh, to, to know that actually the nature of mind can be clearly seen if we just for a very short moment stop thinking and recognize uh, we can ask ourselves just what remains. What, what remains when we stop thinking? And whether we find that we have succeeded in stopping thinking or there's countless thoughts continuing, that question, what remains, is still valid. And we can still powerfully see that regardless of whatever is going on in our thoughts, emotions and experiences, what we title data, whatever data is coming up, <clears throat> There's this bright brightness, this clarity, this alertness, this power to know. And this is what we call open intelligence. So this ability to perceive <clears throat> is always on. And we can look at our experience right now. We can look in our own experience and we get the opportunity to test this moment to moment to moment. In each moment we can test, wow, what remains regardless of whatever data is arising? What's looking at all of this data, all of these thoughts, emotions and sensations? The negative experiences, the positive experiences. And to have this basis, this basis of complete and proper education in the nature of mind, when, for instance, going into day-to-day -day situations like decisions, so countless decisions all day long. Some of them are really, wow, these are really important decisions that I've got to think about a lot. Other, other ones, you just, wow, I'm drinking this water right now. I decided to pick up the glass, had a drink, <laughs> and barely even thought about it. And, and so we see we have all of these different decisions day in, day out, and, and some of them we, we place great emphasis on, and some of them kept me up all night long just thinking, how am I going to make the best decision with this? Um, so it was careers, um, money, sex, relationships, all of those decisions, they were the ones that really kept me up at night. And, wanting to try the best, the best way to, to arrange the most positive experiences, basically. And so I would sit there thinking, how, what, what uh, choice would, would bring me the most positive, positive circumstances and experiences? And that was the best way that I had learnt to find and give myself a happy and enjoyable life. And in many cases, it worked. You know, we're, we're smart, intelligent people, and, and we, we learn quickly, and we go for those positive experiences, and we know how to get them for ourselves. But in many cases, they don't work, and they fall apart. And actually, when we get to that situation that we thought would bring all of those positive circumstances, wow, we find a heap of negative experiences as well. And, and so these, this, this constant movement from from uh, trying to get all of the positive and trying to get away from the negative was basically my, my life investment, my career and my focus. And so, wow, to, to, have a, have a, to rest for a short moment, see that everything is clear, alert and perfectly stable, regardless of whatever I'm experiencing. So be it a really negative experience, like, wow, I'm, I'm incredibly nervous, um, there's anxiety, fear, paranoia, regardless of th those data streams, regardless of the positive data streams of, oh, I'm, I love being here, um, this is great, I, I like to see all friends and community. Regardless of negative, regardless of positive experiences, this power to experience holds the, the real... Uh, the real uh, wealth and the real prosperity and the real total fulfillment and joy. And so we can test this out from moment to moment and we invite you just to simply, for short moments throughout your day, this is the one simple practice that we suggest, short moments of open intelligence, repeated many times, become obvious at all times. 
And so throughout our day, just moment to moment, we test this out, taking short moments, not needing to make them into long, uh, elaborate moments, just incredibly short and simple. Short, simple, direct. Reality, right now. And we check in with reality from moment to moment to moment and see that, wow, actually, regardless of whatever data or descriptions are arising, there's this flawless clarity to my experience that is, is really full of, of, um, of just complete uh, flourishing. And this was more and more obvious in my experience. More and more and more it became so obvious that uh, I can experience anything fully. And that, was, that gave me such power to my decision-making capabilities. No longer was I self-focused and really, really trying my best to, to um, just create a, great, um, to create a great set of experiences. I opened up to, wow, what actually will be of most benefit to myself? and to, to everyone as well. And that's a really amazing perspective to bring to your decisions that I found. You know, what, what, will, what will serve me most and what will serve the most amount of people? And even in the mundane situations, the mundane dis decisions, that, that, great, that brought such great clarity to that and, and also, of course, to the, to the larger decisions in life. And, and uh, so we have the support available to really test this out in our experience and to, to find that we're not alone in our day-to-day -day life experiences, that we have, well, short moments many times. That's the first of four mainstays. We have a training, and the training media, which you saw at the start of this meeting, there's a countless array of that available for free. We have a teacher and a, tra a trainer that you can ask questions at like you can at meetings like this. And we have a community which is, it's perfect, just a, a perfect exhibition of, of a lifestyle where actually, wow, decisions, I don't even have any decisions anymore it seems. It's just really, uh, when challenging decisions come up, I'm very amazed because I just, allow everything to be as it is, where once I would have got in there and messed around with all of the descriptions, but now it's just obvious that this will naturally unfold to be of greatest benefit, and, and I'm just really excited and amazed to see challenging decisions come up because I know they just get naturally resolved completely, like a line drawn in air, like the flight path of a bird in the sky. So these are powerful metaphors to see reality just as it is. All data vanish naturally, leaving no trace. We can look at our experience right now and see it's just like that. So all descriptions. And so in terms of therapies, I, I'm not experienced much in, in therapies, but I am experienced in analysing data, and I know the results of that. And uh, I wouldn't recommend it looking at data. What I would recommend is considering the metaphor of, of a rainbow appearing in space. It's exactly the same as your data streams, your, your, your thoughts, emotions and sensations. So amazingly present and vivid, you'd think that there's something there, but when you get up to it, it's just pure like space. And we wouldn't invest any, not even a split second, in running after that rainbow, right? And so to invest time and, and thought, money, all of the many different uh, resources in analysing data, I wouldn't suggest that either. Data are like a rainbow appearing within space. Inseparable from the space itself, inseparable from open intelligence itself. And we get to know open intelligence fully by having all sorts of data and allowing them to be as they are for short moments many times.